Damien Somerset here with the Automotive XPRIZE. I'm here with Professor Al George and Dave Zlotnick from the Cornell team. The story is that you guys have withdrawn from the competition. Tell me about that. Well, we worked very hard to put together a car that we think had a chance of winning the competition. However, after passing inspection, when we got to the stage of actually running the endurance event, we had two failures in our electronics that that are monitor our battery packs and since we did not understand what the reason for the failures were, we didn't want to take any chances with safety. Basically there are six state of charge boards that monitor the state of charge of the batteries. They're redundant, we only need one of them. Okay. However, they are adjacent to other control circuitry which controls the batteries and since they, we had two failures out of the six boards, we don't know what, what caused them. We, we, are concerned that it, it could affect the control circuitry. The batteries w are working well, but the control circuitry is, this is a new version we just put, put, started putting in last week, and um, we don't understand what's wrong. We don't know if there's a design flaw, a manufacturing flaw, and we don't really want to take a chance with people's lives, you know, because it, there's a lot of energy stored in those batteries. You know, it's the equivalent of many sticks of dynamite or something. So. Right. The biggest constraint here was time. We definitely had the resources and the know-how to do what we needed to do. Um, we got to Michigan on Monday morning. We didn't have an exhaust. We had half a firewall. We had a list of about 30 things we needed done. And the guys made an incredible effort, we pulled everything together. We passed inspection, not on the first try, but we had a list of about three things to fix on the second time around. So to go from 30 to 3 in under 24 hours is, is pretty incredible. It's just, you know, we didn't have enough time to do testing. If we had another few weeks just to see how everything interacted together, I think we'd be much better off. We feel pretty good about the competition in general, though, because we definitely back the goals of the Progressive Auto Insurance X Prize in trying to develop more sustainable transportation for the U.S. and for the world. And we certainly need it both in the U.S. and, of course, in the world as well. And uh, one of our goals was to compete in this competition, but our overall goal is more to help in developing technology and show, demonstrating technology that works in helping towards sustainable transportation. And we feel like we're, we, we've done that and we're going to put our results open source on the web, letting everybody else learn the things we've learned. And the second thing, of course, we're very happy. We've trained a couple hundred students who have worked on this kind of a project. Check out the website for streaming video, live stats, and updates on all the teams in the competition.